dominant hand is going to displace, displace that baby's bum from the pelvis a little bit so that I can really get in. I got my shake shimmy and I've got my other hand firmly with the palm grasping that baby's head. I'm creating flexion. And we're going to shake shimmy to the oblique. And we stop. Everybody breathes. My assistant catches up and gets a heart tone. I ask something generic like, okay, 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 whatever it is. Some kind of check in with the universe, mama, baby. I get that yes. Yeses are always less subtle or more subtle than no's. No's are very clear. <gasps> okay, I heard that. Thank you. Our mom says, no, stop. Those are clear. Yeses are more like, so if it's a yes, we just go forward with it. We move the baby into the transverse, which is the hardest place. Let go with the bum, switch to holding the head, and then your hand is gonna go the rest of the way. And this is like butter, you just move them. When you finish this procedure, you can sometimes have as much as a whole hand between you and the pelvis. This baby is high. And if we leave him like this, he might turn back. So the goal at this point is to then get them lower in the pelvis. So I do another whole 10 minute listen right at this point to make sure that baby's baseline is normal and appropriate. And then we get ready to bind and, and lower baby. So if this is a multip with like lots of room, do you remember the mamas we felt with lots of room? Then we're gonna do that rolled up towel to splint the baby so that they can't fall into the pelvis like face presentations or like shoulders. We roll up towels on either side and then wrap the big belly bind around so that the baby is splinted and held in. And then she gets up and you just peel the side back and listen when she's upright. And we listen about every 15 minutes for that next hour. And she's gonna do stomp squat or curb walking or all the things that we know that bring a baby down into the pelvis. Before she goes home, her baby has been normal for more than an hour with normal heart rate and her baby is lower in her pelvis. And then she gets to have an evening, I tell her to take some kind of activity, some kind of walk, have normal dinner, and she doesn't take the belly binder off until she is laying horizontal in bed for the night. Make sense? Thank you. Welcome.